Hi, my name is Jen and I'm the owner of Crystal Forged and welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be doing an unboxing video and it's got a lot of crystals and we have one, two, and this giant box. I'm going to be going through all of these crystals and everything that I've ordered. Um, I have a few suppliers from overseas. They are all small businesses or local family mines um, that mine and refine a lot of their own crystals. These first orders are going to be crystal towers. As soon as I can cut these open. I'm using a very interesting looking knife today. There we go. So these are very well packaged and they have made a very long journey from overseas to be here. Looks like this one is a smoky quartz. And some kind of pink one. I ordered these quite a while ago, so at this point, I'm a little unsure of what I ordered. I have to double check my order. I'm still not perfect at naming all the crystals off the top of my head. Go into wrap number two. Okay, let's see what we got here. And they're all wrapped up in these paper. Amethyst. We have a jade. And then there's one more in here. This, I believe, is a fuchsite. There's some pink tinges in there. One last wrap in this box. I got, I believe that one is a, another form of amethyst. I got a pink quartz. Now how to get a classic pink quartz. I believe our aquamarine ones. Let's go on to box number two. This is going to be more crystal points. These are wrapped a little more securely with a uh, bubble wrap. like this first one is a couple of little red stones and a little mushroom. That mushroom is adorable. Looks like I got a little bit more of a pink quartz. I have a very pretty little opalite. This one is a green one of some sort. We have a black obelisk, very shiny. I love these. I have a very pretty titanium kyanite. So these are specially treated to give it that color. There's a lot of crystals in this order. This was the big one for the towers. And then I have a lot of crystals in the last box. Oh, this one is filled with some very pretty little jaspers. And this, I really love this color. These will all be turned into jewelry eventually. It might be a little while before you see them all as jewelry, but they will be jewelry eventually. So I did just get this knife. This actually came from a small business um, called West Wolf Renaissance on Etsy. And while it is decently sharp, I could use a little bit more sharpening. So that's why I'm having a little bit of trouble cutting through these but I don't want to get up now and go get another knife. So I'm just going to keep using this one. I believe it's some sort of fluorite. We have what I believe is a snowflake obsidian. And just kind of a classic clear quartz. I did not realize I actually ordered this many. But I'll definitely have plenty of crystal towers to work with now. Uh, this is a lapis lazuli. I am not sure what this one is, but it's a very pretty white creamy color. Oh, and then these are double terminated points. So double terminated means that they have points on either side like this. They're very cool looking. And I can make some really cool pieces out of these. We got this beautiful green and white. I should say white and green. 
I'm not entirely sure what this is, but it's pretty. And this cherry quartz. This cherry quartz is very clear. Very shiny. I love it. This one is a labradorite, so we might be able to see some shine and some flash. See? That little shiny bit right there is called flash, and that's what labradorites are famous for. And this one just looks very interesting. It reminds me of a zebra. That's a very cool looking crystal. I got this real tiny, thin, and little uh, fluorite. Might be a little hard to tell, but that is a fluorite. It has the distinctive purple and green. And that one. That one is just bold. I love the detail it has. Last one. Let's see what's in here. Okay, these are some smaller ones. So these have very distinctive uh, markings for rutilated quartz. It looks like a little bit of shine there. I have this very pretty blue one. This one, I'm not sure what it is. Some sort of quartz as well. It sounds like a little milky quartz. This one just has a beautiful detail. Another smoky quartz, but this one really has uh, beautiful inclusions. So that looks very interesting. And you can see the inclusions actually a little bit on the camera there. Okay, so that's the crystal tower. So let me show you all of those. This one was shipped in what looks like a pencil case, but that's how my supplier ships them. And there's four big bundles. And these are all crystals. Let's start opening them. There's a good amount, and it looks like they are all individually packaged. So I have a lot of unwrapping to do. I thought this angle was a little bit better to show you some of these stones. Oh, I have some titanium moons. It's like some marquee uh, labradorites. That's a very pretty one. It almost looks like a little shark tooth. Oh, this is some Laramar. I finally got my hands on some Laramar. Very hard to get a hold of. That was the first package. Now the second one. Let's move all these down. These are all from the same supplier. So I guess he just shipped them in these little packages, but they all got here quite safely. Not a single one has been broken yet. Knock on wood. That's, that one's beautiful. Really love that one. Oh, looks like that's a little Labradorite half moon. Oh, we got some more Septarian. This is my Lapis Lazuli. The very large, beautiful stones. I got some Opalites. We can make some nice big statement pieces. We got some Solar Quartz. I believe it's dyed in some way to get this. I have some black onyx. Some white slices. These are just white jersey slices. I have put these orders in about two months ago or so. And I've been waiting for them for quite a while. That should be everything. Some peachy moons. 
These are uh, peach amazonite leaves. So these ones, you can kind of see them through the packaging, are all very little ones, so they'll make nice little rings or just accents. Looks like we got some more classic obsidian moons. And that was one of the last ones here. But we definitely have a very good amount of crystals now. just finished unboxing all of the crystals and I knew I ordered a lot. I hadn't realized just how many I ordered. I was going to unwrap all of these for you so I can show you, but there's so many of them that it's gonna take me a while. So I don't think I'm going to be unwrapping all of them, but I'll show you some of my favorites. Oop, did I drop it? These are some very interesting stones. They're very dense, so they're heavy, and you can see the shine on them. You can literally see the reflection of the camera and the ring light. And it has a very cool coloring. I got two of these. These titanium moons are absolutely beautiful. I think they get this titanium coloring for some sort of heat. Um, I don't entirely know. If you know more about it, please feel free to leave in the comments. I love the coloring of this. I have so many crystals to inventory now. <laughs> and this one's a very pretty one too. Let me show you this one. I love this kind of, I believe this is like a dendritic opal. It's a very nice winter stone. Well, I could keep going through these literally all night. Um, they're so pretty. <laughs> I do love when I get uh, orders in. Between these crystals that you just saw and the crystal towers from earlier, um, I have plenty of new stuff to make lots of new jewelry. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed the unboxing. Um, there's going to be a lot more unboxings to come in the future. The next one is going to be things I bought for my small business because I got some really cool random little things that I don't know if a lot of other people have gotten. And I hope to keep seeing you back here. So don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell, do all the things help a little channel out. I'll see you next time.